Okay. Well, he here has with high, high armor. armor. Yeah, so corrosive haze is not going to be too big of a deal, or the bashes in. Can be a big. There and overcharge your bashing con. Well, the lane is not easy for TV, but the mid game is very strong for him. Like a slap. Uh, yeah, we're like really? raccoons. That they're uh, very kind of a fearsome animals, but uh, yeah, I think that uh, this can work. I like DB and the razor combination. Doom on a mid lane. I feel there's much more to it than the off lane doom. Even though we've seen off lane dooms staying at the top of the network by a huge margin compared to some other heroes. Yeah. So I, I don't think he's going to win the lane, you know, kill heroes, but he's going to get the farm, and that's what matters. That means, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with D1. Oh, gosh. I'm peeking. I'm cheating. All right. Um, what are you guys going to do first? first? I'll ask you guys. Okay. Do I trust you guys? Prepare right for battle. Consumed for a long time. I can do this. You lost. I know, but I didn't know my answer at that point. All right, I have a one or two behind my back. What am I holding? All right, I'm going T1. That didn't make any sense, but you know it works out. Uh, 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 nice. Uh, Game one, X creation, T1, excitement. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I was They're ready to go. I'm a bit um, worried. One thing I don't yes. like about T1's draft is something that I always say whenever there's a doom, yes. you need to have a good catch. Who's the catch here? 30 seconds. That's pretty much the only stun that they got. Yeah. The only disable. So it could be a bit problematic. But one thing they have is range. Their heroes are very good at outranging the opponents. DB, with meta, Razor, Impetus. So, yeah, this Tusk, Zephyr, he will need to be able to do quite a lot. Most important thing is do not die first, because your team will not be begins. able to lock them down. They have one slow <laughs> from the Enchantress. They have slow from Reflection, and that's pretty much it. Maybe you enchant the centaur and you get war stomp on the doom. You got two more stuns right there. If okay. You can line them up. Okay, I like the way you think. Usually yeah. I don't, but this time around, I do. <laughs> it's like the first time. And I'm not just talking about Dota. I'm talking about the life, how to approach oh certain so things. <laughs> the percentages just got way smaller. Yeah. Now nah, you're a good guy, B Cup. And it dries up if that checks out. <laughs> so, looking at uh, this mid matchup, we don't really see Doom mid that much. Yeah, it, it's not a good matchup for Doom. There is not a universe in which this Doom gets a kill on Lash Rack until, unless Lash Rack disconnects and just runs into the tower by himself. Ah! Yeah. Like, even with, look at the supports of T1, I'm wondering. Yeah, you can get the enchant slow, maybe both support. I think both supports have to be there for T1 to get a kill. Mid. Unless oh, somehow it's there's a big playing like this. Yeah, there's always a possibility that uh, something can go wrong. Bottom lane is what I'm interested in. Their blade first meta, 4 CS, enchanter's very strong laner. Starts with the Blightstone, has a third fire. But talking about the strong lanes, look at this. Io paired up with the Slaughter. This has been used for quite some time. I think it was Team Liquid kind of pioneered it. Where you get the attack speed, perma bashes, 
It's gonna hurt whenever you're in melee mode, so they need to control the lane, most likely have it under the tower, and uh, keep pulling the small camp. Impious. Small camp is unblocked. This is a annoying combination to deal with. Carl just moving forward. I don't know if that's the proper call. Now he's unsure what he wants to do. You pick up the water rune in time and stay alive. Oh, lightning storm. Okay, he's fine. Handsome devil. He's okay, but definitely needs to bring attack. out more region. This bottle will not uh, sustain. Has speed aura. Okay, so an extra 12%. Not gonna be a track over to that water rune and one more shot in the aura would get first blood, but he walks out of range. Even Cabal has higher percentage than you. You're like 10% is, is 12. Deny! It's the best looking creep in Dota. That Cabal <laughs> with the golden chain around the neck. It's the most Come badass here. creep we have. He does look quite nice. They're going to go for White Mon. They've got the bash. They have the right clicks. And that's the power of that lane down there. When you've got that overcharge and you're just giving Axe a casual impressed. 50 attack speed. You get isolated in this lane. You're pretty much dead. I like the... Build on Slaughter starts with boots of speed, understands that he needs to run people down. With the overcharge, once they hit level 3, more attack speed, more bashes. He might even get a point in sprint at level 3. Just uh, was saving a point. Could he, you know, get one casual point in sprint, you keep up with these heroes, you move a little bit quicker, stay on them, you've got the extra attack speed. Those kills uh, could start coming here for Nico. to the impurities. Who... I would say, I don't know, Nico's kind of been the standout for me on the creation squad. Sex creation definitely looks more stable compared to Season 1, where in a lot of their games, when they're either winning or losing, they know what Unworthy. they're doing. In Season 1, it was much more chaotic. Right. Bringing back Palos is used to play for Execration. Stun uh, missed on a mid lane. Like, if that stun connects, there's a high, a Yeah, it's a high chance that uh, he just dies. So, Carl will pick another Water Rune. Level 5 already. Scorched Earth. Maxed out. Learn Crush. Whitemon in trouble again. Look at the bashes coming with the overcharge. They'll bring Good over 23. Block. And start to back up. Oh, they've got the Centaur that gets the stun. There's another bash on the 23 with a Slytherin crush, so nothing more to come from that. Seems like this is going to be the issue. Because they have no stuns. Like, it's something that we see in the laning stage, mm -hmm. but it's also something that we're going to see a bit later on. Stomp. And you can't take the slaughter, but at least White Mon's doing a good job trying to zone them out while 23 Savage continues to farm on this DB. 28 CS, 10 denies. Did this lane actually much better than I expected? Like, they got a kill on White Mon, but doesn't really matter that much. Yeah. All that matters in this lane is that DB gets the farm. And he's getting the levels. He's level four and a half, five minutes in. Even if he feels threatened, he can always go to jungle. Which, with the outlook right now, is something that he doesn't need to do. No, and that's a great not feeling when moment. you're a TV. So we, we see uh -uh. TV sometime just Level immediately. Level 2 jungle. Yeah. Guess I'll just back up into the jungle now. That lane was exciting. Says the TV at 1 minute 45 seconds into the game. Especially yeah. when the three heroes gank TV. Well, he, yeah. he's the strongest hero. <laughs> I'm going to pop that meta. Gets gang. So, you have DP back with the no meta melee mode. Not something you want to have. Doom, level 6. Not a single point in Doom yet. I don't think he wants to kill people. I I, I kind of like that. And has a mana burn creep. Just wants to be able to be a bit more annoying in the lane. Going into hood first item. I don't mind seeing that. You just need like one item before either a BKB or a blink dagger. Now that I'm trying to recall the item builds for the mid laners, it was pretty much BKB as a first item. BKB blink into Shiva's. Ooh, I kind of like that. Because you get none of farm. You get Devour maxed out pretty quickly. Last track right now going to base. Let's see if he decides to make a move. They don't have the best gankers either. 
Like, they're gonna be relying on Slardar, getting his Blink Dagger up so he can set things up. It just goes back to mid. Yeah, I thought maybe he'd go bottom, but nah, they're not it's really not. Enough. It's really not worth it. Yeah. Does let in the stun this time on a Carl, who's gotten 3 4 0 0, which. I'm not surprised about. I guess that screams to me that Carl's not going to be moving to another no, lane No, he just yet. wants to be able to farm. Yeah. Get that farm up as much as you can. You're sitting 44 and 6. It's a great feeling right now for this Doom. He's enjoying life. You know, you know, you know, especially in a matchup that maybe shouldn't have been that easy. There were a couple of opportunities where Lashrak. Maybe could have gotten the kill. Could have talked grasp up top with the homie missile. Nothing doing. Didn't talk too much about the top lane. Nothing was happening. Both kind of carries an off lane, just farming up. Razor level. Radiance bottom tower Five. is under attack. Still saving a point. Zephyr level four in this tusk. Let's see if there are any stacks. No stacks being made for ancients. Four D one. One ancient stack for execration. Rocket barrage. Cuckoo's direction. What are we seeing here? What is this? Gyrocopter, face boots into crystal. Ooh. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. I remember there was a crystalless meta when the item was kind of OP. Everyone was making it, especially the Ember Spirit, the Void Spirits. But yeah, I'm not sure what this is all about. I think the, the few gyros we've seen are like all ags or like... And their eggs or maelstrom to increase your farm. Yeah. Not sure how Crystalis is got but it's just straight Radiant up damage, doesn't give you any AoE. Okay. I'm always down to learn something new. I'm not sure what this is and whether it's gonna be wow, this is great, or I do not wanna see this Dyer's ever again in a professional match. Attack. Right. I don't know what the crystal is exactly is going to give. What's that? It doesn't give the... So now tag team, Kalos in trouble. They've got the shards in front of him. He's run down here by Kuka. He's got that ult. Stack link goes level 2, but that's all that's needed. And over mid, they've got the Doom used onto the track. And Carl's got a kill. So they're in crush, maybe a trade, but... And finally, they'll grab it. BDZ gets credit for that one, and they still want to go for more. They'll look over at Whitebond, who's got the Nature's Attendance trying to heal up preemptively. is under attack. So they get a trade mid, but they do, in fact, lose that gyro. Overall, a better trade for T1. Just keep killing Lashrak. Now Doom is uh, level 9, has his spells maxed out. No point in Infernal Blade. I think if he had the hood there, he definitely Radiant's lives. Now bought a casual wind lace attack. on top of it just to be more speedy, more annoying. And this is something that like, we don't usually see. You talked about how TB was staying in the lane for a very long time. He, so he's level 8 and a half, uh, was in the triangle. He's just having a really, really good time. Yeah, he, he's working with this shockwave. He's farming up real well. Like you said, top of the net worth. Shockwave? Uh, 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 what are uh, you, purple sphere, the shockwave? Okay. You know, he keeps clearing creeps with it. Farming well with uh, a lot of people call it the Hadouken. I like calling it shockwave. Although I don't know how it shocks. I guess. Creating I thought you were talking about BB first. I'm like, Aeroblade with Shockwave? What am I missing? No, no, Doom with Shock. Yeah, it's Hadouken. It's... So, Hood done on Doom. Just needs to use the career. Gotta be very tanky. What? Hood into BKB sounds kind of horrible. So, I want to see what his next item is going to be. Also, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, uh, maybe a casual plate mail. Because they have a ton of physical damage. But... Seems like he just wants to get BKB on top of it. Not, not a big fan. It's two items that kind of do the same thing. And would love to see a form of initiation because they can't really start a fight. Maybe he changes his mind. There's still a lot of ways to... Gold to get. Yeah, yeah. It's just Dyer's he's sitting at the thousand gold at the killed. moment. But the most important thing, uh, all three cores are extremely farm on their side. So if they just keep farming, I think uh, it's gonna be okay. Razor finishing Radiant's the Falcon Blade, Power Threads, going attack. into Casual Cloak. I don't mind seeing that and the Casual Wind Lace. It's a little bit of a different build. 
from mid razor, right? Mids don't razor, go for Falcon, Falcon Blade. Blade. Yeah, because most mids, they want to get a bottle. So this is a substitution, a good one for the bottle. Gives you a bit of everything. HP, mana region, some damage. And creeps with that shockwave. And now he's got Doom available again. I wouldn't even mind someone pick up a blade down here. He's doing the little track while he's got full snow active and running at him with blade mail activated. A tithe to the impurities. Nah, not a fan. Last track can still deal damage if he has full snow running while he's being doomed. Let's see if he pops that uh, arcane room. Nah, he's gonna let him go. Do die young. So Crystalis done on Gyrocopter. Let's see some numbers. 32 day. Mitch, 30% chance to get a critical, 160%. I just don't Radiant see the real value of the item. Yeah, Mike's Mike is also not a hero that like gets Daedalus early on. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something. Mid lane seems like they want to smoke for D1. Grab a kill with this Arcane Rune, so they have another Doom available. A bit earlier. Yeah. I don't know what this Crystalis is exactly going to provide. It's on Asha next, so maybe benefits in that Arcane Rune. And that's popped with the kill coming in on a BDZ. They were looking maybe for this Gyro. Potentially, they can find Nico. And yeah, they'll use the Doom. Which was it. Only on cooldown for 100 seconds. They've got the Overgrowth coming through. Nico hiding in the trees, trying to survive the duration of this doom, but he's been found by Zephyr. The right click of the tag team, they'll get two. Taking out Nico and RR. Great rotation from D1. Like, they get the multiple kills. Now, last track, he wants to go in. Oh, good stun. Stun with a centaur. Snowball, follow it up. That is a deadless Shrek double kill for Carl. Apparently, you do not need to have stuns if neutral creeps have it. So right now, they are using two centaurs. I believe you mentioned that at the start too, with the Vor Stomp and the Centaur from the Enchantress. Meanwhile, while that fight was happening on the bottom lane, TB takes the tower on the mid lane. It's looking very hot for T1. Yeah, Radiance bottom looking good tower so far. That, by attack. the way, that's the percentages. I'd say Blade Mail would be cool. Nah, low percentage. I say the two centaurs. Yeah, that's you, you're kind of hit or miss. Me, no, it's very, very hot and miss. cold. Yeah, Dyer's yeah. top tower is under attack. <laughs> but the one call with the war stomps from a centaur really good hopefully now, outshining now slardar <laughs> has a blink dagger you Radiant's can have another prediction like attack. you can say Radiant try to look like top tier i'm down okay, okay. <laughs> Try another prediction in a second. Let's grab the chase field. The good stun there from Roy. And now we've got the wall of punch to take out RR. Calls out who is Carl Cuckoo on the run. They've got the He's stun tanky. onto those track. Great shards from Zephyr. He might die himself. Doom available in four. Oh, they can turn this. Oh, do they go? Oh, they cannot. Oh, they cannot oh, anymore. That's really good. TV's not even here. They throw the Doom on an eco. But they get the kill to Cuckoo. They've got the Inferno Blade. Slardar is getting a little bit low. Snowball comes all the way over to BDZ. They fall back on this toss. So he's going in to try and make something happen here. They get the kill to Nico. They've taken out this track. Shards perfect in front of BDZ. Being healed up by this Treant. However, it doesn't look like he's going to survive. The wall is punch lands. And Carl gets another double kill. He's dominating. This is all without 23. Dyer's top yeah. tower. 23 is, is just having a really good time. Carl. I don't think he dies there, but there's probably some witness. damage dealt. Jarakov brought him out. They're taking third then. Another spot available. Hey. Bruno Blade. There's the snowball. That comes through. Shards again. They look good. He just. Not yeah. sure what the plan was there. Also seeing Gyrocopter not even having the magic on. Kind of hurts because this hero fights early on. Like you don't necessarily need to have magic wand on every single hero. Especially the carry. I, I'm, I should rephrase that. Every other pretty much hero that's not a safe laner needs to buy a magic wand. Because it's just too good of an item. While carry sometimes magic stick is okay. Sometimes you don't even get it, but as a gyro, you definitely need them. 
A lot of words just to say that Gyro needs a magic one, pretty much. <laughs> that, that's Bye. all. Bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and in conclusion, Die. Gyro did my wand. But you didn't. He did not. But uh, he's holding on to that fairy fire. We're gonna go oh. in again. Might be in trouble. The plasma field hits on the two. They've got the snowball going over to the starter and make sure that he can't really get the sword to out with the first advantage that comes through onto the top. So he's in trouble. Zephyr goes down, but Carl will begin with the Infernal Blade. He's got the worst up to follow it up. There's the BKB that he just died. And now it looks like execration. We're gonna get low and die. However, they get that kill onto the Doom. Right clicks in from 23 over to Harar, who gets into the trees and will try to survive Dyer's this. However, he's not long for this world. Doom, that was the opening BKB charge, and he died relatively quickly. He did. He needs armor. He has Kaya Sanj queued up. I want to see armor. Casual plate mail will do the trick. And uh, yeah, he, he just instantly. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes some it is like that. Time. He understands. Probably has a Dota Plus, checks who's dealing the most damage, understands that he needs to be able to tank up. I honestly just need statistics on how many times you say, yeah, you know, he should probably change this here. And then literally the second after you say it, that's why I'm they here. Well, I'm just thinking that you have a live feed into some, you know, all the teams can hear you. They always change their items. Because it makes sense. Yeah. You're playing into Slardar, you're playing into Gyrocopter. With Crystalis, <laughs> you, need, you need some uh, physical resistance. Not a fan of that Crystalis. <laughs> that Crystalis is... Uh, what do you call that? The thorn in your eye? Uh, they're a thing like that. Thorn in the side. Thorn in the side, okay. Thorn in the side is usually when it's bothering people. I mean, it's bothering you. Yeah. <laughs> For T1, it feels like uh, maybe a fluffy pillow to the left side of their okay. head, maybe, that they're laying on. Execration with the smoke. Meta is up in 50 seconds. Okay. Doom, Doom available, available with another arcane rune, and he's gonna be much more tanky right now. They need to initiate with slaughter on Doom, otherwise he's gonna be able to get the BKB off. So Pump white mon. White mon will tank that game. It'd be a shame if I lost my uh, <laughs> enchantress. That actually has a real good amount of farm. Full sports are actually close to each other. Zephyr, he was playing well, but that Radiant dieback kind of cost him uh, some farm. Would probably have a blink dagger at the moment. Yeah, he bought back and that's that that bottom. I understand he, what he that, wanted that's to That's his do. job in yeah. this game because they have no other stuns, like no real stuns. Doom has a more stomp still, which is good. But, but he, he have needs to be dagger. able, and they have no safe. He needs to, he's the one initiating with a snowball, then most no likely safe. he's gonna die. That's why I kind of agree with you. Like, I wouldn't have been upset to see the blink on Doom. The blink War Stomp. Although he's pretty speedy, runs in there, gets an Infernal Blade down, maybe a Doom there. If you can hold the snowball for Zephyr, it might look a little bit better. I think that last fight from Execration. Although they lost two, went surprisingly well, considering the initiation was on Nico. 23 Savage. So far, zero dead. Illusion. I think he had a great understanding Dyer's when he count. needs to He's join a attack. fight, because he just left them alone. He left his four teammates to just play Dota while he's farming, and that's Scotty. That's Man Manta. Dragon skin. Dragon Lance. Scanning. What? And uh, Scotty done in a thousand gold yeah so that extra slow on top of the reflection is gonna hurt quite a lot i think the team would have liked them to be in these fights but he left that metrics out of mana they're taking this fight Miku, though with a good link so they crush on the two they'll throw the doom out that's on the little track they've got the overdose coming in with all that link to go to nico as well as yoey the chase is on from carl that bkp is about to run out so he might have to go the other way He's got the essence ring, the war stop, and now 23, he's into the fight, but the real okay to He's under attack. Keep chasing, snowball. Plasma field, snowball, slowed up enough for them to catch him. Zephyr gets the kill onto this tree, and now he's got that gold for the blink dagger. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Also, they have a 10k lead. This is much better and i think starting from what last series it's looked a lot better from t1 a lot cleaner 
I think this game is, under is the cleanest game that they've played yeah. so far in the second season. It was all about the sloppy executions, someone not doing their job. Pretty much everyone in this game is doing things properly. Cuckoo finding the farm, being uh, very active, involved in 12 out of 16 kills. Like the first couple of rotations were good. As mentioned, Terrorblade just not joining team fights at all until 15, 16 minutes in. White Mon taking those smoke ganks, dying a couple of times. Oh, Doesn't oh, really yeah. matter. For the greater good when you tank a gank like that, isn't it? 1, 3, and 12 for White Mon, so a positive KDA. And when you're doing that and you got a positive KDA as a support that dies pretty quickly. Not just yeah, that, I, I like the guy because he has not just positive KDA, but also positive PMA. True. And I always get jealous of what he's eating when the panel's talking about the draft. You are dead. Dead. It's always dead. something. Uh, uh, Caramels, chocolates, bread sticks. sticks. Gyrocopter says, I will get that Daedalus as my third item. Aghanim Scepter done, just needs to use the courier. Still very squishy on this gyro. Ayo makes you a bit more tanky, living armor potentially. Dyer's top top. There's top. too much stuff right now that P1 can throw onto them. Right. Doom decides to finish off the Shiva's guard. I like that quite a lot. Radiant's more than the Dyer and Sanj that he had queued up. Top top Reducing the, the healing coming on from the Treant Protector from Ayo and also providing vision Radiant's in the team fights. Is under attack. Now you're going to be going up against an Aegis on T1. There's no reaction here from Execration, nor do I think one would benefit them in a positive way. The sun has fallen to the radiant. And you know 23 is farming really well because Doom's had an open game, and we've seen Doom's out-farm one positions by a decent margin. 23 is 3k ahead. Like, that is... This is a Doom ahead. without Midas, yeah. which we usually see when he's on top of the network. Radiant but this is also a free farm DB that is out pushing the lanes with his illusions, now holding on to the Aegis. Because they don't have enough... I'm not a big fan of Tusk Shard. I think um, after removing the attack speed slow, it's not that good. But the slow increase, it's 40%. Percentage slow is always going to be great. All that has 5 seconds downtime. And because they don't have enough stuns, like Fine Scotty, Sigil, and Reflection. And they found two. Dying Five heroes here to kill Carl. He finds another Arcane Rune, so he will have that for the next fight. I think the, you know, it's it's 1400 Dyer's gold for the tower. slow, but it's also 1400 gold to probably show off your Vichy Sigil. Because yeah. everybody who uses that shard has the Vichy Sigil. Come on, sigil. Sprites! So the crush coming in, that's out of the TV, but they've got Zappa with the snowball save. Ball down is huge, they use the walrus punch on the Nico, the dash coming up with Zappa is going to be low. They've got the Sunder and Crush, there's a good Sunder. Nico still tanking up, a lot of the right clicks coming out from this TV. They land the stun, but they're going to lose the Lashrak. They might in fact lose more, Nico on the run, but he gets slowed up. Nico Strat slowing up Tiku, but he stays right on with him. There's the relocate away. So he's gonna pay with the, his life. 23 Savage was dropping low. Last track at the moment, he can't really stay on TP. It's just the too much damage. Has only one defensive item. If he uses that dual scepter to set things up, PDZ will drop. Uh, no surprise there. Yeah, very dead. And it, it also was a risky that. play from Execration because they are not controlling this outpost. You never Dying know how much top. gold he has. There was always a possibility that he just flies back and they turn the whole Dyer's fight around. Tower has fallen. He went so far ahead at the moment that they don't even need, like, I don't think they would even need Dyer's to use the buyback. Oh so, yeah, you see Leshrac, he uses that Yule Scepter to set things up on the Enchantress. Uh, and after that, you run towards the TP, great Sunder, you have no mana, no defensive tools, you just smell. Yeah, he gets close there, but... And that's only one life that you would have taken from the TB by yourself kind of committing as everybody else is running away. 
it's really not the strongest push track game, right? That's for sure. It's a tough matchup. There's a lot, a lot of Dyer's tough top matchups, top and there's a TB attack. with 20,000 net worth at 27 minutes. Now with the satanic done, he can dispel things, which is always going to be great. You have a Manta style Ooh, moving in. More dispel. They've got the two mount on the sword already. He crashes down there at the overgrowth. But they use that illusion rune. He'll get away, and now looking over to kill off Nico. They've got the damage to take the sword, and they'll also finish off Arhar. They've got Gyro in the air. He's seen via the side of 23. Through selfless in giving that life over. So the crush comes out at a 23, but it's not going to save this little shrack. They'll get the kill on the three. They'll buy back on two. Oh, that's a nice go again. They killed him off twice. It's a triple kill here for 23. And they are moving into the base looking for more. And this look will come out as Execution will try to hold up. But it is not looking likely that they can uh, hold this base. Yowl is trying to do it again. With the damage that he's got, there's the snowball over. The right click, see with the wall is punch. And Yowl's looking dead to right, dead on his screen already. And he doesn't have buyback, he'll chase the rest. They've got the plasma field, they slowed up BDZ. They're looking for the full team light, Ben. Inside the well, but it's not going to save him. They'll secure it. They're still not calling it. They feel like they possibly have one more fight. 40 seconds, 50 until everyone is alive. And just, they don't have enough damage. DB uses this Sunder to save his uh, teammate. Pops the Satanic, goes back to full HP immediately. Dyer's middle barracks. It's like they're not gonna call it. Even though, you know what I always say? When it's Dyer's time to call it, top. it is Sunder's time top. to call it. Dyer's but it seems like it's not. Dyer's top tower I'm getting fall. lectured here, guys. Dyer's top top are under set of racks. Those are gonna go down as well. Dyer's top barracks has fallen. This is the moment they've been looking for to try and defend. Bring the game back. Aegis expires. Trick Let's see. The desperation smoke. Push out the top lane, push out the mid lane, and go for the play. All they have to do is kill Come Savage back. once. That's all they have to do. Not sure how that's doable. They can't lock him down. He has too much stuff. This is also a full butterfly suddenly out of nowhere. But he bought out. He does die. If, yeah, no buyback on TB. So they kill him, run down mid. Take the tier one, take, take the, the tier, tier two. two. Three. Multiple glyphs. Yeah, tier three, skip the barracks, go for tier fours and the throne. Let's go time. They can do it. Radiant for people who are listening to us, we're just being sarcastic. There, there's always I, this I, one I, I few believe, I couple believe. of guys that are like, what are these casters saying? There's not enough time to do four towers. So, yeah, they can go in and end the game. I don't think it's necessary to wait for Roshan and prolong this at all. Dato is next for TB. Okay. To be fair, I feel Terrorblade could one versus five, the whole team. If he had a BKB, maybe instead of a Dragon Lance, I feel like it's doable. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Is it great? Maybe, maybe Slarder would be a bit problematic. You know, so with, with the finish overcharge. Yeah. And the Other than that, I feel he could kill the whole enemy team. Wait, Eternal Shroud there for Doom. 26k. How, how, how many items could you purchase with 26,000 gold? It all depends what. How many branches can well, you? Well, no, no, no. I mean, like, <laughs> what would you fill your inventory with if you had 26? AC, Bloodthorn, Rapier, Satanic. Well, it depends what hero you're playing. But uh, these are the items. Let's see that one big fight. And yeah, they're moving in. Pal taking a lot of damage. The Metamorphs are already using the He's trying to get something done, but they've already got the Doom out on the little track. They'll get the kill to Nico. They'll look for more with BKB being popped here by Carl. Home 3 is godlike. Fuels into the air. Gyro. Relocated about five feet back into the well. And his bottom set of racks is gone. Dyer's bottom barracks. I will not make the mistake of saying that Mega Creeps are bad. That rack still exists. Stun on the Doom, but there's the Walrus Punch coming through the OE. He's trying to run, but so much damage coming out from 23 the rest of the team. They move forward on the R. They'll get themselves another one. They will go to the Gyro Palace. 
He's stuck in being the charge. He's a good four man stuck. But it's just not enough. It's too late in the game. The GG is called, and T1 will take game number one. Good performance by T1. In first game, not many mistakes being made. I don't think they actually made any big mistakes that were punishable. Uh,